Hey, it's John and Mike from BrewDashDudes.com, and today we're doing a, a brewing equipment review, a brewing equipment demonstration. We're going to put a tap into my refrigerator. It's been too long, and it'd be nice to have something on the outside where I can dispense beer. Uh, we thought it was a perfect opportunity because the people at Bowl Technologies sent us an eye tap which uh, actually has two purposes. Uh, it's a counter pressure bottle filler, which we'll probably set up sometime later. Uh, and I also asked for an actual tap dispenser, so we'll set that up today. So we got the instructions. Now I just need mics and you know tools so I can like, you know, open up a big hole in my, my refrigerator, just right there. And so hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hey, it's YouTube, it's a good time. Well, let's go. Okay, so step one, we gotta put a hole in this fridge. So nine times out of 10, a fridge is not gonna have any lines running in the door unless it's a freezer. So this is just a fridge, a full standing fridge. So there's no uh, refrigeration lines to worry about in here. This is really thin sheet metal for the most part with a foam core and then the inside shelving is plastic. So it's really easy to cut through this stuff. So we wanna figure out where we wanna put the hole and just go for it. How do you know that there's nothing in the in the fridge? Usually somewhere up here there'd be some lines running into the door, but we don't have that. It's just the hinges at the top and the bottom. So John already decided, we looked in here, figured out where he wants it to come through in relationship to the shelf in here. His kegs are down there. So we've already figured that out. We sort of did a, a little mark here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just use a, a punch and my hammer, and I'm gonna make a little dimple on that spot where we want to center the hole. And that way, I'm gonna drill a pilot hole and my drill won't walk around too much and scratch the fridge. So I'll grab the drill and we'll drill a pilot hole. Okay, so I drilled a little pilot hole with a very small, thinner bit. And now I've got this one inch hole saw, right? Which has got a much more beefier bit on the end of it. See if you can see it that way versus this little guy. So we knocked a dimple so I could drill a better hole with this without it walking around. But then that little hole is gonna keep this big guy from walking around until we can engage the front with the, with the rough teeth of, I don't know if that's focusing, but the rough teeth of the hole saw. So once we go through, we'll just go through all the way until we get the teeth to push all the way through through the plastic, so. Here goes nothing. <laughs> That's the spirit. So I'm going to start off a little bit slow until I'm through there, and then I'll use as much speed as I need once we're through it. Right. Hey, there's a hole in my fridge. We made it. <laughs> All right. So we'll clean this up a little bit and then we'll put the shank. All right. So now I get to put in the shank. The longer threaded part goes through the hole. And we're going to put it in there and I get to tighten it on the side like this. Should we use pliers to we'll make tighten it? tighten it all up after okay. when we get the rest of the pieces. All right. Pretty, that's, that's hand tight. Right. Okay, so we've got the, the nipple attached to the back of the shank with this uh, twist nut and it's firmly on there. Now the only thing left to do is to put the faucet onto the front of the shank. Okay. And it just twists on like this. Yep. Straighten it out a little bit. Yep. It's hard to get it just right, but. Once you do, it's pretty sweet. How tight does that need to be? I mean, it's <laughs> probably tight enough so that beer doesn't come flying out of it, but let's see. Should so we twisted the faucet assembly on here, and now we're not gonna do butter filling, but we're gonna use the um, spigot part of the faucet that they sent us. So to put that on here, 
it's sort of like the operation for when you're going to do bottle filling. So this slides on here like this, as best I can tell. And then this simply goes inside here. Come on down. And then you tighten it up and it pulls it up. There's an O-ring in there. And as I turn this, it tightens it back up. And I'm just adjusting it so that the faucet down here looks nice as far as the presentation to the front. There's a little foam control lever over here and everything. So I guess that seems to be on there. That's it. Okay. All right. The tap is set up. Our beverage line is connected to a keg. Uh, we have CO2 flowing through that keg, flowing to the tap handle. Now, everything should work. If we open this up, beer should flow. Let's see, moment of truth. Here it comes. Not bad. Probably, there's a like, a little flow control, flow control here. Nope, that's as fast as it's going. I have it down to like, I don't know, 7 PSI. Just enough to push beer through the line. Probably can up that a little bit, but look at that. That's nice. That's nice. Hey, I'm going to hand that to Mike. <laughs> we got to get that. I'm just going to drink beer while you talk. Great. <laughs> All right, the tap is installed, uh, thanks to the people at uh, Bowl Technologies for the eye tap. I know there's more to do. Right now I have a bucket, I have a drip tray. I think I will be de uh, doing some magnetic tape, maybe, because if I'm filling pint glasses, pitchers, uh, bottles, maybe I want to have some customized placements of this drip tray. Right now I'm using a bucket just to catch, capture the drips. I would say the installation of the tap, according to Mike, was uh, pretty easy, pretty standard. I mean, it's a funky design. Um, we asked for this spigot uh, because I, you know, selfishly wanted a tap on my fridge. So we didn't get instructions on this, but I think we've figured out, you know, we're uh, competent human beings. So, you know, the next step is also using the, the counter pressure bottle filling um, equipment that goes along with ITAP and we'll, we'll follow up with that in a, in a later video. So hope you enjoyed it. It's an interesting piece of equipment. Um, sure is uh, fun to look at. Um, looks uh, a little like space aged or something. So um, again, hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. For John and Mike, brew-dudes.com. Brew on. Cheers. <laughs>